Do I like nine millimeters? If you follow my channel, that's a stupid question. I love nine millimeter in pistols, in PCCs, in rifles. <laughs> Any way they can come, I love the nine millimeter. And it's just, you know, it's an incredibly versatile caliber, caliber that is cheap to shoot and extremely effective with the right bullet in the right load. Now, I would say for the vast majority of people, it is the preferred caliber for pistols. You know, regardless if it's full size, you know, for duty or service or concealed carry. And yeah, you know, there's a lot of people that love their 10 millimeter and their 45. But by and large, uh, statistics, it's the most popular. Now, a company that I was not familiar with that I came across with, came across at SHOT Show was the P80 or the Polymer 80. Now, I have one of their PFS 9s here to review. Now, I have to be honest, I know nothing about this. It arrived, I simply took it out of the box. I'm going to take it back to the CQB range with you. And we're going to dump some rounds through it. Let's just see what the P80 is all about. Okay, that's not... I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Okay, so, you know, to me, this is very much a Glock-style pistol. It feels similar in my hands. It's almost identical, except, let's see, and I did have that, except the trigger. Okay, that is definitely not a Glock trigger. And the reset, <laughs> that's short and crisp. I do like that. Let's just go to specs and tech, run through those, and I'll show you the, the takedown and an up close of the trigger, trigger pull, and the reset. Okay, I'm not much into out of the box, but let's just do a quick out of the box here so you can see. I don't think it typically comes with three mags. It's got this redemption here. Anyway, mine... I got two extra mags, okay? So we've got some really nice, aggressive laser etching here. That is definitely not gonna come loose in your hands. It feels good. It is very Glock style, okay? It's very square. If you don't like a Glock, you know, you're probably not gonna be super fond of this grip. If you love Glock, you're gonna love it, it's gonna feel natural in your hands. Um, we don't have ambidextrous, okay? Slide, le slide release, releases here, okay? We do the mag release. Fixed iron sights, okay? This would be tappable for a little bit of windage. Other than that, no elevation. We've got iron, We've got the circle dot on the front. We do not on the back. It is serrated, that's kind of the new big thing, serrated in case it glares. Okay, don't have any sort of dimples or anything for scallops for resting fingers or thumbs. Um, I kind of like that in this one, with this one anyway, that's right about where my thumb goes. To disassemble, it's just like a, a Glock. And we do have, one thing I really like about this is it has very aggressive serrations front and back. We have the chamber indicator here, disassemble, just pull back like a clock, forward, okay, and barrel comes out. Okay, it is clock pattern, so it does, at least as far as I can tell, except clock mag, so I'm going to try my Glock 17 mag and then some aftermarket 
and see how they perform. Now the trigger on this, okay, this is not Glock like. We have nice take up, but it's not. Well, yeah. Okay, it's not real mushy. It is a nice trigger. We hit the wall. And that's, you know, for a Glock, that is extremely crisp and clean. I've got a custom trigger in my Glock that, you know, I don't even know if it's that good. Now, watch the reset. That's short. That's short. It's crisp. And then the pull after the reset. That's a nice trigger, guys. That is a really nice trigger. That is one huge benefit over the Glock. All right, let's get outside and have some range time. Quick want to do a pull test here and see what we're getting. That's showing six pounds. That's a really solid, consistent six pounds. Yeah, it feels about right. That feels about right. I've actually had, I put this up against some of the higher, the higher end digital ones, and this was actually more accurate and more consistent. Real quick, one thing, um, that it doesn't have, which a lot of guns are coming out with, is interchangeable back straps. If that is an issue for you, if you have smaller hands and the Glock okay, grip is too big, you're probably not gonna like this, okay? It's, it's gonna be fixed. Again, if you love kind of the Glock grip, you're gonna love this. Like I said, that is some wonderful etching. Feels great in the hands. It is not slipping. Right out of the box here, we're gonna fire off, see what we can do at 50 yards. Now, brand new ammo company out there, America's Ammunition Company, AAC. I got a hold of some of the 115 grain. Special thanks to them for donating this for this review and another review. We're gonna give this a try. I've heard some good things about it anyway. Let's just, uh, let's see what we can do out of the box here at 50 yards. Quick control group with this AAC before we start seeing what kind of groups we can get with the P80 at 50. Just, just want to see kind of where it's at, but let's just do a control group here. See what... Okay, the cold bore shot was a little up and to the right, but the rest of it was grouping just fine on the bullseye. So, you know, like to do that before I waste a whole lot of ammo. Now let's get the P80 up here and just see kind of roughly where we're at at 50 yards. Okay, let's just see what we can get here, benching it. Again, could be really helpful in letting us know because the farther away, the more exaggerated any sort of uh, misalignment is going to be with the sight. So, and it's got a nice, nice trigger. So I would think that we would get respectable groups here at 50. Let's just find out here. And it's going to jump a lot because I'm not, I'm not squeezing real hard because I want to focus on that trigger pull and not moving the gun. So 50 yards, let's just take a look. So yeah, that is, that is a perfectly acceptable group at 50 yards with a pistol using iron sights. I'm really happy with that. Um, you know, not shocked whatsoever. It is a little to the left, which is not a big deal. And that happens a lot too when they come because the average person is not going to notice anything with that because I'm shooting it at 50 yards. Okay. So, you know, if we were shooting it at CQB distance, you know, we're talking is probably over here at like maybe 15 feet, 
20, 20 feet, something like that, in which case most people are very happy with that. I'm going to tap it just a little bit and see if we can't get that over to the right. I'm not going to be able to do anything with the adjustment. There's kind of my control group as far as the ammo, and that's awesome. You know, that's telling me that, you know, we're not having any kind of ammo issue. That was the cold bore shot. Um, so, and then the following four. Okay, so, you know, one of the downsides, I love KISS iron sights you know the windage one of the downsides is is they're not the easiest to adjust you need to tap on them just a bit and it's not an exact science a lot of times they're you know they're kind of in there tight and so sometimes you overdo it i'm pretty sure i got it where i want it let's just take a look again at 50 yards with a pistol this isn't bad especially dialing in so you know we kind of started over here to the left and then just kind of messing with some taps you know a couple of taps weren't hard enough and i slowly brought it over the last one i brought maybe just a little too far that was the four shots so i gave it just ever ever so slight tap back to the left okay so we should be good to go here i think i got it adjusted pretty good here at 50 you know for for simple iron sights let's see uh, how we can do there on the steel Not, not doing it today. Let's try, uh, let's try something different here. Sometimes I have good luck doing this. Hmm. You know, let's just, I got five rounds here. Let's see how we can do just resting it at 50. Could just be simply one of those days that I'm just not on my shooting game for standing. Let's try the same thing here at 100. Okay, you know, so I got to say there at the 50 yards, it did not seem to be the gun or the ammo. It just seemed to be my shooting today. Let's try 100, um, resting it here and see if that makes a difference. Doing well. You know, we all have one of those days where we're just not shooting well. Okay, so now I was just in the office working on putting together, editing the video, and getting ready to upload it. And I realized as I was going through the video and editing that some of you may not be familiar with me or my channel at all. Um, I just wanted to throw in a couple of clips here of another pistol that I just did recently. So you have some sort of reference point as far as my ability for shooting. <laughs> That's proof in the pudding. now real quick is i want to just run through some different ammo manufacturers you know see if it has a preference um and, and mostly just show that it tolerates everything you know we have been running the aac and that's been doing great we've been getting great groups with that 
Um, I'm not going to do groupings on all these, but we'll just, you know, we'll play back here at the CQB range and, you know, I'll fire a mag, you know, or 10 rounds of each of these just to see you know, if there's any kind of hiccup or anything like that. I am going to stick with the factory mags that came with this. It didn't seem to like my aftermarket mags. It did seem to like the Glock mag. Okay, first one I'm going to run is just the Wolf Poly Performance. We'll go here at 25. No problem there. It does seem to be shooting low still. Folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper, and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy, stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Okay, so now I have the Tula and sometimes especially with the polymer mags I have found that some of the steel case likes to I don't I don't know if the friction but uh, we'll see here let's just try that <laughs> okay that's nice I was aiming high I got a full-size IDPA there at 25 yards. I was aiming right at the head and was getting them in the center. Um, now I've got the Federal American Eagle. Let's just give that a go. Uh, you know, try having a little fun here. Now I will say, I don't know if you saw that. And that's one thing I'm not liking about this is they're coming back and they're hitting me on the head. Okay, I've had quite a few of them as I'm shooting, they're dropping on my head, and when they drop on my head, they drop on my arm, and I'm not caring for that. And if you can't tell, it is, it is humid out here. Um, I am sweating like crazy. We went from winter to yesterday was 90 some degrees, and a week before, I had uh, freezing temperatures, so that's Nebraska for you. Anyway, I've got the SAR USA. This is the 124 grain, basically NATO spec. Let's uh, let's try this. Got to hang up there. Another one. Um, it's not liking the the SAR. Try 25. Okay, there it went. Not sure if that was the ammo. This is still factory mag. Okay, now this is at CCI. That's at 147 grain. It's it's all a flathead. It's not a wad cutter, but sometimes this does cause some hangups. Let's see how it does with that. See that one? Came back, hit me in the head. I'll see if I can get it on the on the recap. Okay, I just got hit in the head with almost every single one of those. Um, it seems to vary maybe a little bit with the ammo. I've got some. Fiocchi and Winchester, yeah, let's try those. Okay, so now I've got the Fiocchi. I took the camera and turned it up a little bit, so you should be able to see the ejection a little bit better here. Let's just try 
again. Still coming, falling on here. Definitely glad that I've got this on and one of them landed on my arm. Hot brass on your arm sucks. Okay, last group is the Winchester. Let's give that a go. I'm gonna go uh, 25, maybe work our way around a little bit, see if we can, how we can transition. I will just say, I will say, it's distracting when the brass is hitting me in the head. Okay, there you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, guys. That helps more than anything else. Okay, it really helps. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to guns and gun safety. And remember, every time you're at the range, every time you're getting some trigger time, you're an ambassador for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.